Hi guys, Mary here. Welcome to my channel. I have um, Hobby Lobby Collective haul today. I went to Hobby Lobby about uh, three times last week and I finally found the dies. So this haul is from um, separate visits. I didn't buy all of this at once. So um, let's get started. I'm just going to pick up whatever comes first and so the first one is this die here and y'all know this one from the little uh, spellbinder set with the car I don't know if I have this but I do have one of those die sets to give away um, when I do my 200 subscriber giveaway I'm gonna do two prizes and uh, so there'll be two winners, so stay tuned for that because I have uh, quite a few goodies to give away. And so if I don't have this one, this one is going in the giveaway. Next, I bought this one here. And the reason I picked up this one is because my six-year-old thought it was cute and she wanted to paper piece it. And so... Um, you know, with little kids, you have to keep them busy and what better way to craft and have them doing something while I'm doing something. So I think for me, there's no other way. Like I have to have them do something if I want to be able to craft. They have to be right next to me. So I try to get them involved. So that's why I got this one. Next, I got this card here, and I wasn't going to pick this up, but I saw somebody do a video, and they mentioned that uh, you can also do the nativity one right here, if you can see. And I didn't know that, so I thought that was super cute, and I went ahead and, and checked, and yes, you can do this setup right here, too, so I thought that was nice. So there's that. And you can use the actual card itself for like a lot of different things. It doesn't always have to be Christmas, so I thought that was nice. Next uh, is this one here. Now, this one I picked up when it was 40% off. Um, I asked and they told me this one was uh, fairly new, so it wasn't going on clearance. So I picked it up at 40% off. I just really like these... Um, eyes here the, the swamp is so pretty so that's why I went ahead and picked this one up next I picked up this hip, hip stamp hooray I had not seen this before um this brand before so I found this one randomly like in the clearance section like not in the stamp and die section and when I went to check to see if they had any, like, different sets, I didn't find anything. So, I don't know if this is new or I just found the one randomly. Um, I don't know. You guys let me know if they have more of these because I love these flowers. So, I'll be on the lookout. And for $1.49, you really can't beat that. Next, I picked up this guy. This is the angry little snowman i think it's so funny how he looks upset so uh that's really one of the only reasons i picked him up because i have other snowmen but he looks kind of grumpy so i thought that gave him character i picked up one of these uh, hero arts uh, color layering uh, stamps and they did have other sets from hero arts but I really, really try to be good and not pick up everything because I really wanted to get one of each at the price, but I, you know, I really am not going to use them. I don't need it. So, um, yeah, I tried to, to limit myself and only get what I really thought I would use. Next, I got this one here, and I love this handwriting here, this it's just so cute. I really got this for the unwrap me. <laughs> I thought this was super cute. And you could always use the little tag. The um, ornament looks like one of the classic ornaments. So I thought that was cute. We can always use the stars. So 
374 for this one. Next, I picked up this cute little car die, and I actually had to pick this up twice because um, the first time I picked it up while we were driving home, um, my four-year-old got into the bag and he decided to open it and uh, play with it. And so when we got home, I don't know what happened to the rest of the pieces. So um, I had to pick up another one. I got this uh, Momenta background stamp. Again, they had several different styles, but I tried to only pick what I was going to use. And I thought this was going to be nice for like summer. So I picked up this one here. I've seen a lot of people pick this one up, the 3D textured impressions, and these string lights are so cute. So I went ahead and picked this one up too. I know I have enough Christmas stuff, and that's why I stayed away from a lot of the dyes. Um, but this one, I just couldn't pass it up. Now this one here was one of the ones I was really looking for. Again, I'm really liking this font here. Super cute. For $3.99, I thought it was a good deal. This one was another one on my wish list. So I went ahead and picked it up. I was happy I found it. $2.99. And if you all have seen my hauls before, I have a thing for making houses, um, you know, like die cutting and paper piecing houses. So I was happy to find this one here. $374. Another super cute house, home for Christmas. I thought this was nice too. Gingerbread house. So, and for $249, I thought it was a great deal. I also found this little gnome here, super cute. And I just noticed that it says, I dance. So I guess his legs swing back and forth. Oh, wow, so that's nice. So excited to play with this guy here. Next, I found this detailed embossing folder. I know it's probably hard to see, but I really liked, um, you know, the the pattern. It's. I'm pretty sure I can use it like for other things, not just for Christmas. So we'll see how that goes. And because of that folder, I picked up the ornaments. I'm gonna try to um, replicate that card. So we'll see how that goes. I also picked up the snowflakes uh, cling stamp here, the background stamp. I thought it was super cute. And 374, like I said, you can't beat that. Also got the polar bear, super cute. So again, 374, let me just get this out of the way. Just grabbing randomly. Okay, so, they were doing the cricket um, stuff when I got there, and I didn't even want to go down that aisle. But again, I have no self-control, so I did, and I ended up picking up a few things. Now I really stopped myself, and the only reason is, is because from these sales, I have accumulated a lot of cricket items. Um, but I just really, I make t-shirts for my kids, so I thought that this one here, 
um, the holographic iron-on would be, uh, you know, something I would use, and it was 324, so I couldn't pass that up. I really did want to get a few of them, but, um, you know, I think that it's, it's nice to leave some for other people, too, so. Then I picked up this, um, holographic vinyl, and I picked it, this up to put something on my phone. Maybe, like, my initials or something. I just really liked it. And I picked up, a uh, other holographic one, but this one has, like, a different color to it. I also picked up some of this um, Smart Iron On and I was hoping to find at least one more of these because for Christmas I used uh, like four of these so um, but I was happy to at least find one and I also found um, a red one is it red? no it's not it's like a... where's the color? I don't know. I must be colorblind. <laughs> oh, and it says it's glossy here and it has this, so it might be like holographic as well. So we'll see. Okay. Sorry about the crinkling, guys. I might have to do two separate videos, but I'll try to go fast. We'll see how this goes. Um, I also went ahead and picked up some of the insert cards. And I found this one here. I like the colors. They're like springy. I got this one here. And I figured if I didn't use the cards, I could use the acetate for something else, but I ha I did also use my joy a lot for Christmas, so maybe these will come in handy uh, throughout the year if you want to make like a quick card. I also found this one here. And like I said, whatever, you know, I don't end up using, I will use the paper for like die cutting. Um, it's it's nice the cardstock they use for these cards so for a dollar 74. now they were fully stocked with these but again i'm really trying to be good i also found the glitter cards and these look really nice um i've used a couple sets of these and i really liked it so i was happy to find this and then i also found this um red and black but the black is not glittered only the red so what else we got here i only picked up one of these stays on because i know for sure that i didn't have the yellow and i wanted to add it to my collection of stays on this is my favorite ink so that's why I only picked up one. I wasn't sure if I had the other colors. And uh, yeah, so I went ahead and just picked up one. When I went back the next day, there wasn't any more. So at least I got one. I picked this up. I think this was 50% off. And I got this to cut apart um, some of my dies. You know, the AliExpress ones, they come connected sometimes and I didn't want to use my jewelry pliers for that so that's why I picked up this one uh, let's see. Okay, so I saw people were finding these uh, totally Tiffany bags and I was only able to find the Irene bag which is the smaller one for the inks so I picked up two, they had a, a whole lot of them, so 
that's why I picked up two, but I don't think they carry the other ones at my store, so at least I found these. Now, I was so happy because I found this, um, the station. I, this was the reason why I kept going back to Hobby Lobby. If it was for the dies, I would have just, you know, I could pass them up. But for this, for $5.49, I really didn't want to miss it. So I am happy I found it. I didn't find any of the rulers or the magnets like other people did, but... Again, I'm grateful that I found this one. I'm sure you guys have seen this. I picked up this 12 by 12 um, white cardstock and I picked this up to use my um, envelope punch board that I got on HSN. I got the slimline one. So that's why I picked this up because um, I tried using eight, eight and a half by 11 and the envelopes were kind of narrow. So that's what this is for. And it was 50% off the $5.99. I also found these um, Silhouette Wood Sheets. They also were fully stocked with the silhouette items, and I do have a silhouette, but I really, uh, you know, have to be selective of what I buy. But this one here, I thought I can um, use it for home decor. Sorry guys, my dog is acting crazy. I found the stamping platform and um, I really wanted to try this. I do have a small Misty and I also have the 12 by 12 Misty, but I figured this would be nice to keep in my um, craft bag, the big rolling bag that, um, you know, that I like to keep with uh, supplies so I could take on the go so I bought this one to put in there and I also found this one that if it wasn't for somebody making a video I wouldn't know um, I would have passed it up but I guess you could customize um, you know it, it has the letters here and so you can go ahead and just put whatever you want on there and just keep it like that if you want or change it up so I went ahead and picked this up and this one was $5.99 and $7.99 so that was a good deal. Now um, I have some more items but I think for this video I'm going to stop now. My dog's scratching the door he's trying to get in and um, my kids are being a little loud so um, I will make another video showing the rest of my items and thank you guys so much for watching subscribe if you haven't subscribed and i will see you at the next one bye